This is a walkthrough of problem three on practice exam one of module nine in the book Problem Solving Guide for Mechanics and Thermodynamics. Really good jump ropers can make five jumps per second. So consider a vertical motion of a small bead in the middle of the jump rope. So the bead's going head, feet, head, feet, head, feet over the top. The range of motion of the bead is from the ground to 60 feet above the ground. What is the period of the motion? What is the angular frequency of the motion? Write an equation for the height of the bead above the ground as a function of time. Assuming t equals zero is the point where the bead is just touching the ground. We're going to start the time right there and want to know where the bead is thereafter, above the ground. Part D, plot the vertical motion for a few cycles. The frequency is five cycles per second. The bead is making five cycles per second. The time for one cycle is a fifth of a second. That's the period. The period's of time for one cycle. Fifth of a second, 0.2 seconds, whatever. Part B, as for the angular frequency of the motion, five cycles per second. We need to put an angle in the numerator. 10 pi radians per second. There's two pi radians in one cycle. Five cycles is 10 pi radians, 31.4 whatever radians per second. Part C, as for the equation of motion of the bead. Okay, this is a little bit more challenging. The center of the bead's motion is three feet off the ground and the bead oscillates around that point. Starts three feet below it, goes three feet above it in simple harmonic motion. So the trig function we need is negative cosine. That negative cosine starts at the bottom. The cosine of uh, negative cosine of zero is minus one. So there we have it. But there's a problem with this. The problem is this oscillates from minus three feet to plus three feet. There's minus three feet in the front and the cosine goes from minus one to one. So this is going to go from minus three feet to plus three feet. The problem is we have to get the height above the ground. This is not the height above the ground. You're not minus three feet above the ground. The function goes from minus three feet to plus three feet. We have to think, what can we do here? How can we get it to go from zero to six feet with the same shape? We have the right shape. We just have to shift it. We simply have to add three feet to the function. So this will go from zero to six feet instead of minus three feet to plus three feet. Part D asks for a plot, and here it is. It starts at zero. After a fifth of a second, 0.2 seconds, it's back to where it began. And let's go five cycles in one second. That's problem three. 